Welcome back, Am Fishers. I'm Bill Jordropoulos, the host of the Amfish Fishing Vlog Series. If you have yet to subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, get on in there and at least have a look. And, and if you do find some value in there, subscribe, hit that subscribe button. There are a lot of informative uh, fishing videos in there that will definitely help you get onto a lot more fish and have a lot more success out on the water. Um, and if you find this video helpful, uh, feel free to share it and like it as well or any of the other videos that are in my channel. Uh, to jump straight into this vlog, this is a video review of uh, a really cool item uh, that cuts fishing line, especially braided line, cuts it very simply, very easily, very efficiently. Um, and I wanted to use this product for a couple of seasons. I've actually used it for the last couple of seasons uh, extensively before I went and did a, a video on it. Um, so without further ado, here is the review of the line cutters ring. Got one on here. This is the green carbon wrap version. Uh, this is a, a really cool item, guys. Here's the ring itself. Uh, it's got a blade in there. You can access the blade from either the, the left or right side. It's very safe and secure. As you can see, I can't stick a finger, even my smallest finger. I cannot harm myself. I can't get near that, uh, that blade at all. So it's very, very safe. Um, it's pretty much uh, adjustable. Uh, a little velcro strap here so it's an adjustable strap one size fits all basically uh, fits handily you know on your hand it's always there you're not looking for it you're not searching for it you're not misplacing it it's always going to be where you last left it unlike a knife scissors or pliers where we're constantly searching for them um, you can mount this as an example say this is my fishing pole uh, I can put this up here and strap it nice and tight against the fishing pole underneath the reel as an example. So this would be the reel part. You can mount it right under there. Uh, so it mounts on the fishing rods. You can mount it to your uh, life jacket, on a zipper, um, keychain, whatever you want to do. There are a lot of options. Uh, this actually came in handy for me as well to give you kind of a tidbit on how efficient it is. This is my selfie stick. I don't use it often. I use it when I land large fish that are long and I need to get a, a good picture of. So I'll be able to extend this away from me to snap a good picture. But I actually uh, attached the ring and I'll do it quite easily here. I attached it as firmly as I could to this selfie stick on one occasion and lowered it down into a large boat bass's mouth. It was actually throat hooked a little bit and I couldn't see the hook so I wanted to cut it and let the fish swim away had no means of doing that with scissors or pliers so you know quick thinking i just mounted it down to uh, my rubber grip here on the selfie stick lowered it down into the mouth of the bass like this got down really close within about an inch to where it was the hook was pulled the line sliced it so it's it's very handy i mean once you think outside of the box this product does allow you to 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 do some really cool things with it um you know when they present themselves so that's the ring itself. I'm just going to get this back to working order for me for this video. Fits on any finger. Uh, mounts to a lot of different things. This is their black standard original version. Really cool, uh, you know, cool color there if you just want that subtle look. Uh, they've got a flat mount, which is here's a black one. I'll show you the purple one that they have. So same thing. It's basically the blade portion of the ring. And it's got some 3M tape on the bottom. This can mount the tackle boxes, your life jacket, inside of your boat, your kayak. Uh, and this color here, the purple, is kind of handy as well. Black sometimes, depending on what you're mounting it to. Uh, you know, a white tackle box or a clear tackle box, it'll be great. This here on my kayak, specifically my kayak, is this kind of colors, which is greens, whites, blacks. Um, so it's kind of that green hornet color. Uh, and having a purple or a few purple on there is great because they... Uh, they mount and I can see them from a distance and know exactly where I have this. So another great product by Line Cutters. Uh, but just getting back to this ring here. So I'll move the selfie stick out of the way real quick. Normally we're cutting line uh, with a good pair of shears. These rust, I've lost a few over the boat as well. And they, they basically crimp line. They don't really cut line. Uh, give you an idea, I've got some strands here of uh, braided line. And as you can see on this specific one here, it frays the ends. When you cut with scissors, it tends to flatten out the braid and then kind of do this fuzzy effect. Whereas the line cutter ring does a clean cut right across the line, which I'll show in a few seconds here. Uh, a clean cut right across the, uh, across the line, you're not dealing with those frayed ends. So my days of using uh, the shears and pliers that basically crimp down line and don't do well, um, 
I'm done with that. As soon as this product came out, I was, uh, you know, just fell flat out in love with it. Uh, so here's what I would normally cut my line with. This is a straight edge blade. I would not cut a braided line with this. Um, this is more of just a, a knife to have with me, a handy knife to, to cut certain things if an emergency arises. This is a serrated, half serrated, half straight blade for anybody out there. I'm into a lot of hiking and outdoorsy stuff. Uh, you'll want a serrated blade, whether it's a full blade or half blade. This will always cut rope, twine, uh, and fishing line a lot better uh, just because that's what serrated blades are meant to do. The problem with this is I normally have it closed, uh, clipped onto my life jacket or my pant pocket or something. When you open it, it's locked in that locked position. I've had numerous occasions where I've dropped a few over into the water, whether they were for my boat or my kayak. Uh, they've fallen, you know, you rest it on your thigh for a split second uh, before you go cut line and it's fallen on the side of the kayak. I've had it almost stab me in the thigh. I've almost gaffed myself with my hand because I didn't realize I'd left it in a specific spot. It's almost gotten me in the ankles and the shins and the foot. So it is very dangerous. I mean, it's the best thing I've always had to cut line prior to the line cutter ring. But it's just, it's dangerous because again, you know, we, your mind's busy out there and you have to be careful every given second of the day. And sometimes just leaving this like that, it may not be where you last left it. Again, the ring always is on your finger or what finger you've left it on. The knife or the shears or the pliers rust out and they'll tend to, uh, you know, either fall over or get misplaced and we're buying a bunch of them now. When you look at a pair of shears and a pair of pliers, anywhere from 10 11 dollars right up to 20 dollars and then when you get into the knife section you know 10 15 dollars right up to 30 40 dollars so uh this is a great item when it comes to cost as well and it does the job and it does its specific job so just to give you an idea i've got four strands of uh 30 uh sorry braided line here two of them are 15 pound test braid and the other two are 30 pound test braid i'll give you an idea i'm just going to grab one of the 30 pound braids real quick give you an idea don't blink because you'll miss this so there's one strand it's going to make a loop and place it into the ring and all it takes guys is one quick little pull there is a piece cut right off clean smooth edge no frayness to that hopefully i can get that on camera there's no frayed edge to that uh, you'll never need to cut this many strands of line at once this ring will cut right up to 80 100 pound braid uh, and several pieces of it i actually have a video a quick video i shot of 28 loops of braid, uh, 30 pound braid, and I sliced right through, uh, you know, one good strong pull and it cut through all of them. So this is the four strands again, two are 15 pound test, two are 30 pound test. I'm just going to make a little loop, put them in the ring. And again, don't blink because you'll miss this. doesn't take much. I barely even pulled, cut right through straight edges. So very tough guys, very, very handy. Uh, I'll do another little demo here. This is some twine. And I believe it's got reinforced twine inside another couple of different uh, compositions of it. But to give you an idea of strength, I can fit it in there and pull the twine real quick. Just one little pull and it cuts right through. So it's very, very strong, very, very durable, guys. Uh, it's the handiest tool by far that, I've that I have used. Uh, um, and I fell flat out in love with it when line cutters came out. Uh, again, it's, it's there. It's on my finger. It's on where I've mounted it. I'm not searching for it. I'm not battling with smushing line and the frayed edges again. Uh, I'm not battling with pliers that are rusted. Um, let me get, try and get that frayed edge there to show you guys. So there's that fray edge to, you know, when you cut with scissors and cut with uh, everything else, it tends to crimp down the line and smush it. This line cutter ring is uh, kind of acts like a little guillotine, cuts right through, cuts straight across. To give you uh, another use of what you do with this, so you know if you're just changing baits out, that's great. You can do this. You can cut your line. If you're snagged, you can cut your line. A lot of different options with it. And I, because I'm outdoorsy and into hiking and stuff, I usually carry this with me as well. I may need to cut some paracord or some twine, as I showed you uh, earlier, for whatever my camping needs and hiking needs might be. But here's another little use for it. I've just got a lipless crankbait tied on here. This would be my main line as an example, and this would be my tag end. Uh, I tended to cut tag ends maybe about a centimeter or so, or at least a few millimeters above the knot. I find that it kind of acts as a little buffer to the knot. I don't like to go super close to the knot. Now, this ring allows you to go close to the knot. I just don't go super close to the knot. Um, just something I haven't wanted to really do. I like having that little extra buffer in the line. But to give you an idea, just a quick version here of how simple it is to cut tag lines. Put it in, and I have just did one motion and I've cut a tagline. 
Now, if I want to cut that tag line a little shorter, I can. Most of the time, again, I will leave it about a centimeter or so um, just for that little extra buffer. Now, that was on a shallow running crank. This is going to be a deep diving crank with a big lip, just to demo this one as well. Um, it's really easy, guys. You know, I, I, again, I've tried a couple of different ways. Sometimes I just like to loop it and give it a pull. Other times I, uh, you know, can pull it beside the bait and do it that way as well. Um, here, I'll actually do it that way for this video or for this time around. Just pull, just pull right through. There you go, tag ends cut. Bait's there, ready to go. Again, if I want to cut this closer, I can, and I can cut as close to the knot as I want to with the ring as well. Um, so handy, handy little tool, guys. Like I said, I wanted to use it uh, for a couple of seasons before I actually did a video on it. Um, and I endorse it so much, I've actually uh, chosen to sell this product on my Amfish store, my online store. I'll link to that in the description uh, for all my fellow Canadians here, who uh, Canadian anglers who are looking and you know basically tired of using the same old stuff that really doesn't work whether it rusts or doesn't cut the line or whether it cuts the line really well like a knife but also is very dangerous um, so I'm kind of done with using the knives obviously I've got a bunch of these rings I usually have one or two rings with me on every outing and a few of these flat mounts in a couple of different colors mounted in a few areas uh, on my kayak or on my PFD but like I said, guys, by far one of the best items I have ever used to cut line. It will not rust on you. You're not going to deal with misplacing it. It's always there, whether it's on your finger, whether, you know, you do the, you, you mount it on a selfie stick. Uh, just to have it there is a handy thing for uh, throat hooked fish um, on the bottom of your rod pole. It doesn't matter where you keep it it's always going to be there. Now, you know, I'm not looking for that knife. I'm not looking for the shears. I'm not looking for the pliers anymore. It's right there. It's handy. I see it. I've adjusted to always just knowing that it's on my hand. Uh, there have been a couple of scenarios where I'm out trolling with some bigger baits because I'm a big pike and musky guy. And, you know, your bait gets snared and all of a sudden your braid's coming across uh, your face or just coming across the kayak in a weird way. Uh, you know, you got to react sometimes trying to sit there and, you know, get the blade and you know get the knife and try and open it and try and cut in that scenario or reach for scissors that I thought were to my right but they're actually on my left side it doesn't always happen um, you know there are scenarios where exactly that same thing you hit a bad snag you're snagged it's easier just to cut your braid sometimes before it breaks your rod in half or breaks your rod tip off so I'll just reach over snip it with my uh, line cutter ring and then backtrack and find because braid does float so if you've cut a 15 16 foot piece of braid uh, attached to your bait in you know five six seven eight feet of water you can track back and find that braid and unsnag your bait um, but guys like i said by far one of the handiest little items you'll ever have uh, i'm telling you if you get one and use one you'll you'll understand exactly where i'm coming from it cuts on the first time it cuts very easily very efficiently very effectively and it's always where you last left it. your fingers not going anywhere if you've left it on your finger it's attached to your hand it's there you're not going to search for it um, they've got it available in a bunch of different colors again that's a carbon green wrap that's your standard black uh, the ring also comes in a pink and it comes in a, a glow in the dark which is a great option overall color option for anyone who fishes at dusk and morning and uh low light conditions uh, when you want that glow in the dark and a little extra help there uh, but it comes in a bunch of colors guys so hop in uh, you know if you're in Canada feel free to hop into my my Amfish store and take a look at what I've got there I've got their colors available and the flat mounts again available in uh, the purple which is a nice vibrant color to have be able to see from a distance um, but guys like I said this is one of the handiest uh, line cutting tools um, and I've carried it on hikes and in outdoorsy uh, situations where I may need to cut again paracord or twine for tarps or setting up tarps or, or tents and that kind of stuff. So if you are interested in it, like I said, and you're located anywhere in Canada, feel free to hop into my store and take a look. Uh, I endorse this product so much. Um, I just, like I said, I fell in love with it the second I got my very first one in the mail and I started using it instantly and that's all I use now to cut uh, line and all types of line, braid, mono, floral, doesn't matter. Uh, it allows me to do things quickly and keep fishing a lot longer and more frequently versus battling trying to find stuff in the boat to cut the line and wasting all my time and not having my bait in the water. So thanks for tuning in guys. I uh, hope to see you next time. Again, if you like this video, feel free to share it um, and like it as well. 
And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, get in there and do so. There are a lot more videos like this that will definitely help you catch a lot more fish. So thanks for tuning in. See you next time.